What's up YouTube? This is Foxtail Digital coming to you again with Black Girl Stocks. And in this video, I'm just gonna give you a little update on our week one of the Stimulus Check Stock Challenge. I told you I was gonna give you an update, so this is it. If this is your first time watching my videos, please make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so that you'll get an update every time I post a new video or anything like that. So but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. My battery's about to die. But yeah, so let's get into Robinhood. And basically, you'll see we were down roughly $150 this week. And that was because I had 70% of my portfolio in consumer good category. So you look right here, it says 50% right now, but on Wednesday, when I checked it, I actually had 71%. I had two other stocks. Uh, WRK and WY, those lost me $40 in total each. Not each, but like in total, I lost $40 from those two stocks that I bought on Monday. So I was a little bit disappointed in that. But you know, like I told you, with the way the market is right now, it's really, you know, it's really a, you know, kind of a little bit of a gamble right now, but that's okay. I'm not worried about it. I know we're gonna do okay because on Friday, Gush really came back and uh, we got $15 on the day for that. So that's not terrible. But uh, over the past week, it was down $6 and I have 15 shares of that. So you do the math. So that's a, that's a cute little cut for me. Um, but I really have faith in that stock. And if it goes anywhere near what it was, you know, a month before COVID-19 happened, like $200 a share, 300, 400 then I'm cool with that I'll stick it I'll stick it out for that for a little bit and we'll hold on to that stock for a few months because I'm not I'm not letting that stock go yet um but yeah and then the other two stocks that I had let's go to my history the other two stocks I had like I said the WRK I bought 15 shares of that for 389 and then WY I bought 10 shares of that for 193 and I pretty much sold both of those like the next day because they were just dropping so much and I didn't see a point in holding them. Like I was getting close to my 5% loss and you know, I wanted to go ahead and get rid of them. And I think I remember I told you guys in the last video that you would have to calculate your losses and things like that. But if you really just want to have a quick look at what you're currently losing on a stock, just go ahead and click on a stock that you currently have. So. You see right here in your home screen under the stock area these are the stocks that i currently hold like i have shares of these stocks so let's look at ford and you can look right here at your position it'll tell you what your total return is for you know the entire time that you've had the stock or just over a day-to-day -day period so if you see here i really haven't lost any percentages on the stock so that's really why i haven't sold the ford i just want to see you know what happens with the stock uh, you know as time goes on with everything that we have going on but yeah so that's just a quick little update you know we're down this week but next week my plan is to definitely diversify my portfolio and be invested in different you know different stocks and different categories and I'm also probably going to be jumping into some options trading next week because I really want to see some fast gains <laughs> with the with with this portfolio so i'm looking forward to doing some option trading next week on top of trading these stocks that i already have and uh yeah i really don't have anything else for it i'm not too disappointed because like i said you're gonna have losses in the stock market but you want to have you want to have calculations of how much you're losing i don't want to lose anything more than five percent holding on to the other stocks so i just went ahead and let go of them the gush stock that i do have you know it's doing pretty well and it's, it does so well you know you'll wake up in the morning and have twenty dollars in after hour share so you know i really enjoy having the stock when it does well and uh also what i'm thinking about doing a little bit more with this gush stock this week instead of just holding on to it continuously like i have since i bought it I'm thinking about buying in and selling it just like in the last video we just posted about how to read stock charts but if we go in here on the on the week you know I could get to a point where I may like when it got up to 38 that would have been a good point to sell it 
and then you know you see how it dropped down to 30 you know then i wouldn't have lost that money and then i could actually probably buy more shares because i already know this stock is going to go back up it's on a continuous up uptrend you know you see point here point there this area right here is a little a little shaky but let's not go over three months for that but yeah so that's pretty much what my portfolio is looking like over the first week you know we're down 150 but let's not lose focus let's not lose faith you know like I said, we're gonna put this money in here and invest it and see what we can do with it. And you know, whether we win, lose, or have the same amount, I'm still thankful that we have this opportunity. And uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty much all I have for that. I just really wanted to give you guys a quick update. I'm up here outside on, on, the, on the balcony, you know, just to get some air, you know. It's such a beautiful day and uh, I'm just so thankful. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. So. Uh, see you guys next week for more videos and more information on the stimulus check stock challenge And if you like this video, please make sure you click that thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell So that you'll get a notification every time I upload a video for you. So yeah, I'll catch you guys next time on black girl stocks All right